aquaponics is a great way to grow fresh fish and vegetables at home. It will deliver a maximum amount of produce for a fairly small footprint. It's low in water and power use. And for those who don't like digging and weeding, perfect solution for them. And if you want to grow organic produce, this is the way. There are many different systems available and a range of different ways you can set it up. But put it where it's easily accessible, which will encourage you to tend to it more often. And if it looks good, it'll be an attractive feature to any garden. I've been using Alliance Moulding Garden Spot equipment for several years now. It fits my criteria for a great design, good choice of colours, it's really strong, durable, UV protected, food safe, fully recyclable and best of all, it's made right here in Perth. Once you've selected your position, preferably where it gets all the morning sun and a little bit of shade in the afternoon and summer, that's perfect. Fill the tank with water and put the pump in. Then you'll need to cut a hole in the grow bed and install a drain. This is so the water can fall back into the pond. And then you need a drain cover to stop all the expanded clay from washing into the drain. So that's a perfect solution. And if a bit of 90 mil or 100 mil pipe that's been sliced, that will go over the top. And that will allow you to be able to get your hand in there at any time and clear out the drain. A bed of this size is going to need about five bags of expanded clay and it's a great growing medium in aquaponics. It harbours a lot of beneficial bacteria which you want to grow and it's nice and friable so the root system can grow through it nicely. And then turn the tap back on and get the water running ready to plant. You'll find that the clay can be a bit dirty so it's a good idea to direct the water away from the pond so you don't get that mud going into it. And then. Seedlings or seeds, the choice really is yours. But what you will need to do is wash off all the soil because we don't want any of that in the bed. So think of hydroponics. Best way, bucket of water and maybe a bit of seaweed solution. Let them rest for a bit. And what you're trying to do is really rinse off all that soil on the seedling. So once you've planted out the bed with your choice of seedlings or seeds, leave it running for at least a week and then start to put the fish in. Always start with small amounts of fish. Don't overstock straight away. Ten's usually a good amount and then every two or three weeks you can add fish with a little bit more confidence. What's great about the Alliance Moulding Garden Spot range is that you can get matching colours for not only your pond but for rainwater tanks and raised garden beds. And if you're renting or putting it off because you might be moving then there's no excuse. All this equipment can be taken with you. And there you have it, took about 20 minutes. An aquaponic system really is an investment in your future health as you're going to be growing your fresh fish and vegetables organically. It's a great hobby and a great thing to do. We have a very special giveaway for Green Fingers viewers this week. If you'd like to go in the draw to win an Alliance Moulding compost tumbler, go to their Facebook page, Garden Spot, like the competition photo and comment on what colour you would like and how your garden can benefit from your very own compost. Good luck.